see a new concept of intercepts. Intercepts cut by the circle. Now what do I mean by intercept cut by a circle? Let's see. Uh, these are two coordinate axes, x axis and y axis. Now let's assume that a circle goes something like this. Right? Now it is cutting some portion on x axis as well as some portion on y axis. The portion, the portion on x axis, this is known as the x intercept. The portion cut by circle on the x axis is called x intercept. And the portion on the y axis will be called as y intercept. Like we used to study in the case of straight lines. Like if the straight line is going something like this, this portion comes out to be the x intercept and the other portion on y axis is called the y intercept. But in this case, in case of circle, this portion will have both the endpoints, the initial and the final endpoints. When in the straight lines, we just had origin as the base first point and the second was where the line is cutting the x-axis or y-axis. So now I have to find the value of x-intercept as well as the y-intercept. So let's say that x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. This is the standard equation of the general equation of the circle. Now I know that if the circle is intersecting the x-axis, the points where it is intersecting the x-axis, how do we find this point? These points can be found by equating this equation to 0 and also putting the value of y is equal to 0. Since these both points have a common characteristic which is that the ordinate or the y coordinate of these two points is equal to 0. So what I can do is I can put the value of y is equal to 0. So if I put the value of y is equal to 0 this equation will become something like this x square plus 2gx plus c is equal to 0. Right. Let's say this is x2 comma 0 and this one is x1 comma 0. So these are the two points where the circle is intersecting the x-axis. Now I want to find the x-intercept. By What do I mean by x-intercept is I want to find, listen to this carefully, I want to find the difference between these two values. Right. I want to find the difference between x2 and x1. So I know this equation x square plus 2gx plus c is equal to 0. I know that the two roots of this equation are x1 comma x2. Why the two roots are x1 comma x2? Because I substitute the value of y is equal to 0. Now if I substitute the value of y is equal to 0 in this circle, I will get these two points a and b. So the x coordinates will be the roots of the equation x square plus 2gx plus c is equal to 0. Right. Now what do I have to find is, I want to find is, I want to find the difference between the two roots. And this can easily be calculated by this theorem x2 plus x1 whole square minus 4 times x1 x2. Now I know that the sum of the roots is given by minus b upon a and this will become 4g square minus 4 times c. So we can say that x2 minus x1 will come out to be 2 under root g square minus c. So this is the value of x intercept cut by the circle. right? Similarly, the y intercept can be easily deduced. In the case of x coordinate, x intercept, we are getting g square over here. So in the case of y intercept, if we do the same procedure, in the case of y intercept, I will have to put the value of x is equal to 0. Because on the two points, the two points on the y axis have, will have their fc size equal to 0. So for that case, this comes out to be 2 under root f square minus c. So these are the two values of x intercept and y intercept cut by the circle. Right. So this one is the x intercept.